Welcome to Atma the Infinite Art and today we are learning the quick selection tool in Photoshop. This is the third part of the selection tools in Photoshop series. Links of the other parts are in the description. The quick selection tool is located here and its shortcut is W. I want you to note when the tool is selected, the option automatically defaults to create a new selection. This bit of information will be needed in a moment. So with this create a new selection option selected, we are now going to make a new selection. But when you try to make the selection, Photoshop doesn't allow you to make it. That is because you need to select a layer. So with the create new selection option selected, the quick selection tool looks like a normal plain circular brush with no mark at its center. What quick selection tool does is that it matches the pixel around this brush with the pixels covered within the brush and selects them. So as I begin selecting the girl, what I want you to note are the part of the pixels over which the brush is moving and the part of the pixels around the brush which are selected. I want you to note that there is a plus sign added at the center of the brush. That is because the option defaults to add to selection every time you create a new selection. Now as I drag the brush over the skin of the face, lips and the dress, it also selected the pixels which had the same color range as them. But you might see that the brush went over the skin of the face yet it didn't select the skin of the hands. That is because the face and the hands are not contiguous and are blocked by the dress in between. However, with this add to selection option selected, we can now add the hands. I'll drag over the skin and you can already see it has selected the entire hand. But it has also selected some unwanted parts here in the red region. Of course this tool is not perfect and we'll look into this in a moment. I will select the other hand. I will drag over and it will select the hand. Here as well it has selected some extra pixels which we will look into in a moment. I'll select the hair portion. To select the small portions of the image, you can decrease the size of the brush by hitting the left square bracket in your keyboard. To increase the size of the brush, you hit the right square bracket. I'm quite happy as to how the selection turned out, you can use more time to make a nicer selection. To preview the selection, press Q. Press Q again to get out of this preview mode. Now to subtract these extra pixels from the selection, we need to select the subtract option here. Shortcut for this subtract option is Alt and shortcut for this add to selection option is Shift. You can see now that instead of the plus sign, the tool is now showing a minus sign. So I'll drag over this blackish area with the subtract option selected and it will exclude or subtract this portion. Then I'll go to the other side. I'll drag over this red area with the subtraction option selected and it will subtract or exclude this portion. I'll keep adjusting the size of the tool to just select the red area. You can see while subtracting it accidentally subtracted the hand portion. So you can easily toggle to the add to selection option by hitting shift on your keyboard. Remember not to let go of the shift otherwise it will bounce back to subtraction. I'll release the shift key and continue excluding the red area. Ok I'm happy with whatever it has done in this short time. At this point, you can preview the selection even by duplicating the selected portion in a different layer. To do that, press Ctrl plus J. Let me just hide the main image and you'll be able to see that it has made quite a good selection. 
The background is white because the background layer underneath it is white. Although the selection is not perfect, it is a good starting point. We'll look at some other options under this icon. Under size, you can change the size of the brush by using this slider. Or you can also use your left and right square brackets in your keyboard. Now hardness determines how hard or soft the edge of the brush will be. So at 0% hardness, the selection will have a kind of soft faded transition at the edge. To demonstrate this, I'll click a very little selection here. And then when I press Q to preview the selection, we'll find a bit of faded transition about the edge. Press Q again to get out of the preview mode. I will now make a selection with the hardness set to 100%. I'll then press Q to preview the selection. You can see that the edge of the selection is a bit hard. Next we have spacing. Spacing determines the interval at which the quick selection tool drops chunks of selections or selection points as the brush moves over the image. With spacing set to the least 1%, there will be literally no gap between the chunks of selection. Let me demonstrate. So as I'm dragging the brush, the selection chunks are dropped at literally every point. So the selection process is very smooth. Now you'll see what happens if I set the spacing to its maximum 1000%. So as I drag the brush, you'll see discontinuous chunks of selections with gaps between them. Here you can change the roundness of the brush. You can make it an ellipse. Maybe you have an image which are better selected like this. You can also manipulate these handles here to change the roundness. You can also change the angle or direction of the brush by inserting a number here. You can also change the angle by moving the handles here. And this is for people who use sketchpad or paint tablet. You can opt to control the size of the brush with the dial pen pressure or stylus wheel or you can have the functionality turned off altogether. To show you what sample or layers does, I'll use this example. First is this layer containing the real image, then the layer containing the girl or the lady and the hand image. I'll turn all the layers on and will shift each layer to the left so that we can see portions of all the layer. So sample all layers unchecked means I do not want to sample and select from all layers. Instead, I want to select only from one layer. So I'll have to select that any one layer. I'll select the real layer. Now if I try to drag and make a selection on a portion which doesn't have any content on the real layer, there will be no selection. The selection will vanish because there is indeed nothing in this portion of the real layer. And now with sample or layers selected, if I drag on any portion of the canvas, the images from all layers will be selected. One thing I want to mention is that even though sample or layers is checked, you have to have one layer selected to be able to make any selection at all. Else you will get this error message. The auto enhance option enhances the edge of the selection slightly. I'll keep auto enhance unchecked and then make a selection of this blue portion. Then I'll duplicate this selected portion in a different layer. For that, press Ctrl plus J. And then I'll name it No Auto or No Auto Enhance. And then I'll hide it for the moment. 
select the ball layer and then check auto enhance on now we'll make the same selection with auto enhance on then duplicate the selected part Control plus J and name it auto or auto enhance now I'll turn off the main image now this selection is with auto and you can see that the edge is pretty crisp and refined it's a good selection now I'll turn on no auto the difference will be very minute so pay full attention the edge is a little bit rough and uneven as opposed to when we used auto enhance I'll toggle between auto and no auto for you to see the difference better. Now these two options are a video of their own. I'll make a tutorial in the future. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other parts of the selection tools in Photoshop series. Bye.